Hello, my name is Janet Thompson and I'm an occupational therapist working in Aberdeen City in Scotland. I want to take you on a journey to meet the group that I've been working with for the past two years. Together, we've co-produced a force prevention session and taken it out to community groups, encouraging people to improve their strength and balance and their general fitness to prevent falls. The people I've been working with are all experts in this field. They've all either had a fall or have been closely involved with somebody who's fallen. And they have all experienced their own falls journeys and know the difficulties that can face people who are trying to recover following a fall or who want to prevent a fall. But before I introduce you to them, I would like to show you a short clip that just captures the essence of what we've been working on. Hello, I'm Elaine McConaughey and I'm a Public Health Coordinator and I've been involved in Stepping Forward Together from the start of the project. And I'm going to speak a little bit about uh, results and impact. So we decided to use improvement methodology to look at any results or impact the project was having. So one of the first things we did was to look at, find out if people found the sessions useful. We also looked out to see if people were actually increasing their strength and balance exercises as a result of attending one of the sessions. And also, did they know how to prevent falls and did they know where to go to find out information to support them? So we found that 100% of attendees found the sessions useful, which was really positive. And we also found out that there was a 30% increase in people's knowledge around how to prevent falls and also where to go for support. We also saw a 21% difference in those that were then doing strength and balance exercises at home as a result of attending one of the sessions. Hello, my name is Jenny and I was recruited as a Falls Ambassador a year ago, having experienced a fall the previous year when I broke my hip and collarbone. Unfortunately, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, my participation in group sessions has been limited, but because of my own post fracture rehabilitation process, plus my background as a community physiotherapist, I am very committed to the value of preventing falls and the importance of undertaking regular exercises. My involvement with the local osteoporosis support group has enabled a joint display to be mounted, giving information about the Stepping Forward Together project and highlighting falls prevention, together with oste osteoporosis awareness. This display has been moving around the libraries in Aberdeen, thanks to the Aberdeen Library Service, providing information leaflets and signposting people to suitable community exercise groups. Um, I've actually done some interesting things, such as going to um, Aberdeen Royal Infirmary and giving a, a talk in the big lecture theatre to lots of medics and uh, other medical staff 
um, and also to talk at the Robert Gordon University to um, a, a physiotherapists and occupational therapists and to show them some of the little videos that we have made. We have leaflets, we have um, we, we have information on our website, so we're really very proud of what we did. We have a real interest in the role physical activity can play in helping people improve their strength and balance to reduce their risk of falls and keep doing all the things they love. It's a real pleasure to be part of the Stepping Forward Together group alongside service users, volunteers and health professionals all working together to raise awareness of falls prevention and empowering people in Aberdeen to do all they can to reduce their own risk of having a fall. Hello, I'm Jane Ormrod, one of the Falls Prevention Ambassadors from Aberdeen. I've been fortunate to be able to support the establishment of the Steady and Ready Movement Exercise class at a local venue in the city. The group, some of whom who have experienced a fall, are enthusiastic ladies aged late 60s to 80s. I hope to move to support the group on my own when we can meet again. Meanwhile, two of the group and myself have volunteered to pilot the Live Curve app, which is quite exciting. Hi, my name is Andrea Maxwell and I'm an occupational therapy student. I initially began working with the Stepping Forward Together group during my placement. My first task was to follow up the Stepping Forward Together sessions in order to gather qualitative information about the impact and changes made by the participants and the groups after the Stepping Forward sessions were delivered. I gathered the information through focus groups with attendees from the Stepping Forward Together sessions and phone calls interviews with the reablement facilitators from the sheltered housing complex. All the information gathered was concluded. I also conducted and recorded an interview with a family member in order for it to be transcribed for the Stepping Forward Together project. My name is Peter Stephen and I have been a volunteer Falls Ambassador Stepping Forward Together since the beginning of the programme more than four years ago. For the record, I am 83. For me, this has involved participating in Falls Prevention Sessions with a mixed group of people and going into the community to talk about falls prevention and telling my own story. We have been to coffee clubs, lunch clubs, sheltered housing complexes and over 50s groups. Hi, my name is Beth and I've been an ambassador since early 2019. I've been involved with the delivery of the falls information sessions to the sheltered housing residents and to the over 50s clubs. These sessions follow the format developed by Janet and her partnership colleagues and include not just facts and figures, but fun things like quizzes and exercise tasters. These have a focus on strength and balance. Those fitter, older people are always surprised how hard the balance exercises can be. But the best bit is teaching the most effective way to sit down and stand up from a chair. Everyone is surprised how easy it is once you know how. The Stepping Forward Together project has co-designed, co-delivered and co-evaluated a force prevention session and taken it out to the people in this community. Our volunteer force ambassadors have also helped make films to raise awareness about force prevention and have helped run short courses and support exercise groups. These volunteers are our service users, but they've also helped shape our services. They are one of our greatest assets they are experts by experience. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Stepping Forward Together has continued to meet regularly and our ambassadors have acted as critical friends, bringing a service user's voice to meetings and helping test changes that we have had to make. Older people have a wealth of experience and skills to bring to the co-production table and it's time to stop focusing on the cost of co-producing and start recognising the cost of not co-producing the services that we deliver.